All right, taking this opportunity, Miss Charlotte is at uh, a family reunion, so I'm going to feed her fish and do a few other things here at her system while she's gone. Let's put in a little bit of fish food there. Oh, yeah. They're hungry this morning. <laughs> Thank goodness the camera's waterproof, huh? Good look at that underwater, see what that looks like. Hopefully we get to see the fish good. Uh, I'll look at this before I post it and make sure. Let's look at our tomato plants, which have, after only a couple of months, and these came from seed, and we started the seed at the same time we started building the system. So these plants are truly about the same age as the system. It's not like we went and bought plants that were already half grown. Here's a little tomato that just set. There's several in here. I have a hard time finding them. She she studies this thing. She knows right where all her tomatoes are. But I know she said she had a few others. Yesterday she showed them to me, but looks like I'm not going to be able to find them. But I do know they're in here. She was nice enough the other day. She uh, said, hey, come up and take some of this marigold, some of the limbs off, put them in your own system, which I did. Uh, and they you just Peel the limbs right off. They they break away nice and easy. Throw them in a plastic bag, wet them, put them in your own system, and they take off. It's unbelievable how well they do. Let's see. I am still looking for some of these tomatoes. I know they're here. I've seen them. There's another one right here. And then of course the okra. There's a couple there, about ready to pick. Quite a few more coming along nicely. One there that'll be ready this evening. There's a couple of might pick this morning so uh, they don't overgrow and get tough. Of course, we got basil, sweet basil, which is the purple basil. The stevia is doing well. These are some new cuttings we did off the basil plant. And since we got the cover put on, we're not getting as intense as sunlight here, so these are rooting really well. Another basil that's uh, a couple of weeks old since it was cut. Parsley, more stevia. Another dwarf marigold. Now these are dwarf marigolds, but they're getting huge. Unreal. Let's look down here. Some plants are still suffering from de some deficiencies. We're going to pay a little more attention to uh, some of the nutrient deficiencies and take care of that. We also had on this eggplant right here, there's several eggplants, as a matter of fact, but we had an infestation of flea beetles. And we've killed that just using a, a, a soap mixture. We used ivory soap and a spray bottle with water. And it has cleaned those up, got them off here. There's a leaf that fell completely off. Not a big deal, another one, not a big deal. That's gonna happen. Let's look around here, there's another couple of them that are weak. We'll just get rid of those before they have a chance to just fall in the bed. Something will eat them. And of course right here, is her chocolate mint and I actually came up and thinned this quite a bit two days ago and the coffee I'm drinking right now is just full of it it's wonderful here's what it looked like before we thinned it and all we did was bunch it up cut it off and if it starts getting a little too invasive we'll just go ahead and pull it up by the roots uh, and pretty much you can do that a couple times in that area and it'll it'll stop it from uh, from taking over one thing you're going to want to watch though is these roots do run very very deep 
we've already pulled one and found that, uh, it will block the flow of water through the grow bed and cause solids to build up upstream of your drain. So it's something we've got to keep an eye on. Here's some more parsley, very nice parsley. Another dwarf. Let me step back so you can see the whole thing. Dwarf. Can't even get the whole thing in there anyway. Dwarf marigold, that's uh, 18 inches tall. I guess that's actually about how tall they're supposed to get. But I've never seen them this bushy. These are single plants. These are not two or three plants together. That is a single plant. Anyway, that's about it. Like I said, we got the cover on. It's it's temporarily fastened. Uh, I know some of you are going to see it and say, hey, that's not tight enough. I agree it's not tight enough, but it is temporary. We still have to finish the ends of the greenhouse uh, to, to finish up our uh, framing. That way we got something to attach to. We're not real concerned about that right now. Uh, we do need to get it done in case we get a, a wind that comes up because it will rip this plastic apart and we don't want that to happen. So pretty soon that will be done and all will be right with the world.